Another night of destructive storms has killed at least seven people and hurt dozens more. Friday's severe weather comes a week after 26 people were killed in storms across the U.S. and a day after President Joe Biden toured the damage in Mississippi. Christopher Salas is live in our Washington Bureau now with more on the response. Christopher, good morning. Hey, Leticia, good morning, and rescue crews are out there searching the debris for anyone who may be missing, and unfortunately, the death toll is expected to climb in these tornadoes. Several have been reported across multiple states. We do know Arkansas, one of the worst hit states, the governor there already declaring a state of emergency and activating the National Guard. From the south. Cars here in the parking lot. Check out this one right here. Flipped over. To the Midwest. That looked oh, like a yep, roof. That was that a roof that flew off. Got this is a off. tornado moving through this the area. Another round of severe storms and tornadoes. Power went out. And after the power went out, it just started rumbling a little bit. And then after a while, all of a sudden, you just heard all the sirens going off. And then they shut off and the tornado was coming through. Destroying homes and taking lives. In Arkansas, the governor confirming dozens of people were sent to the hospital. I go outside and it's crazy. It's people got blood all over their faces. And in Illinois, at least one person was killed. More than two dozen others injured after a roof collapsed at a concert. It's just really hard to see people and hear people being hurt. All of it coming hours after President Biden visited visited Mississippi, witnessing the aftermath of storms that killed at least 26 people. Unfortunately, I've been to too many sites like this over the last two years around the country. FEMA tells me crews are ready for this new round of severe weather. We have disaster survivor assistance teams that are going to be working. They've been working for days now, uh, but they're going to be continuing to go door to door, community to community. And the National Weather Service is now warning that these areas that just got hit by severe weather, they may see more severe weather on Tuesday. Leticia. And Christopher, the National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center issued a rare tornado emergency for Little Rock, Arkansas yesterday. Can you tell us more about what that warning actually means? Yeah, so this warning is a level five out of five high risk uh, warning. It's the highest that the National Weather Service can give. They didn't, the last time they gave one out was two years ago in 2021. And basically it states that there's a high probability there's going to be strong tornadoes that are on the ground for a significant period of time. And that's exactly what we saw. The National Weather Service made this designation up back in 1999 after there was a monster storm that ripped through Oklahoma. And they said it was in order to uh, let people know that the severity of the situation they're about to face. They felt that just giving a tornado warning was not enough. Back to you.